also known as Nai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Korean skincare routine. If you guys didn't know, I went to Korea to study over there and I recently came back and I wanted to show you guys my favorite skincare products from Korea that I tried when I was there. And thanks to your style, I ordered them because I recently ran out, out of them. And I ordered them and they literally came in less than a month. I'm gonna show you guys today my favorite skincare products and my skincare routine. So I don't wanna make this intro so, so long. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing I do is I just clip my hair out of the way. If you guys know, I recently got bangs and they're kind of annoying right now because they're growing out. But like, I don't wanna cut them anymore because I wanna like curl them out because I miss my long hair. And then I just like to pick it up. So the first part that I use, it's a cleansing balm. If you guys know, I have makeup on. I had this makeup on the whole day. So I used to go in with the 16 Brand Multi Super Cleansing Balm. This thing is amazing. I went to I went to the 16 Brand store in Myeongdong, in Korea, and I bought some of their. Um, makeup products and then I saw that this was on sale and I got it because I heard good things about cleansing balms so I got it to to check it out and let me tell you this thing removes your makeup so good and it smells amazing it smells like fruity sadly I haven't read out of this but I do know they have it in your style so I'm gonna link it down below if you guys want to get the products so yeah the first thing I do before I put everything, is just take off my lashes. Oh my god. Literally, when you take off your lashes, you feel like a baby. You really do. I just get like a little bit and just put it all around my face. Literally like that. I'm telling you, this is, this is very oily. It's a cleansing mold. So... You see how it dissolves the makeup? I had waterproof eyeliner, like, I look like a zombie, I'm, I literally do like a zombie. Wow. So when I'm done with the cleansing balm, I go in with my Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser by Corex. I swear this is my baby, my number one cleanser, like literally. This has cleared up my skin so much. If you guys know, in my last skincare routine, I used to use Creology, and thanks to Creology, that helped my skin out so, so, so much. But when I went to Korea, I had to stop the subscription, and my face broke out because of the planes, and the changing in weather, my face just breaked out. So I was looking for a new cleanser and I tried out this in Korea because I heard good reviews here and I, was, I checked it out in Amazon and this is literally number one in Amazon, like the number one best selling. And this is by far my favorite very Korean skincare product for cleansing. I really, 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 really recommend you guys if you guys have acne and red, red skin, like you see how my skin is like kind of red, I really do recommend it. It's pretty good. Okay, so after washing my face with the cleanser, I go in with my toner. I go into Centella Green Tea Toner. You can barely see the name because literally the little like the little um letters comes out because of the humid in the bathroom. But let me tell you guys, this toner it's so good if you have red skin like me. I you guys can tell my skin it's like red AF. So I use this toner. So, what I used to do is I used to like pour the toner in the little cotton pad and just rub it in. I don't do that anymore because in Korea, this lady told me that if you put your toner in your hand and you just pat it in your skin, it works way, way, way better. And I live by that because it does make a difference because you're actually putting the product in your skin because the cotton usually absorbs the product more than it goes actually in your skin 
so I just like that much and just pack in your skin and I just like to put it in my neck too cuz why not so after the toner um I use this AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Serum. It's AHA, BHA, and PHA work as effective exfoliator to leave skin cleaner and more radiant than before. It's made out of real tea tree, which it, it is because it smells so good. So what I do, I just get a drop. I just drop it in my skin like this and just rub it. I've been using this more than 30 days. I don't know if it's just like a regular 30 day serum, but I haven't seen like my skin go bad or like any like rashes or anything. So I think you can use it like for more than 30 days or as long as you want, but it's really amazing. I really recommend it because I used to get those little like little bumps in, the, in my forehead. I don't know if you guys know, and this clear it out. So for the last step that I use after my serum, I go in with the multifunction formula all in one snout repair cream. It's a high concentration of 92% snail extra promotes skin repair, effective resolving skin problem. It's by this Kinker brand Maison Maison. It's what got me intrigued about this is literally the snail. Like the little snail extract because I have never seen a product about snail and when I was a kid I heard that snail products are good I don't know why I just like on YouTube videos like I don't know but I heard that like snail slime is good to put on your face I don't know so this was just I got intrigued so I bought it and let me tell you it's amazing so I just like to like put one side here and it's super light, it's not even heavy. What I know about this product that it helps a lot with acne scars because I, I'll be honest, I love to pop pimples. I love to pop up pimples. I know it's bad, but what can I do? I love to pop up pimples. So I get kind of acne scars and that kind of helped with that. So if you have acne scar, I really recommend that because that kind of helped me with my acne scar because I cannot stop touchy touching my face, but it's okay. I'm just gonna add this real quick in here. I do all the steps for the morning, except for the serum. I just wash my face with the cleanser and the toner. And then for moisturizer, I use the Zentella Green Level Safe Sun SPF 50. Let me tell you guys, this thing is amazing. I use it under my makeup and throughout the day, it doesn't make my makeup cakey, it doesn't make my face oily, it doesn't leave a sticky feeling or a white residue so if you guys are looking for a really good moisturizer um slash sunscreen i would recommend this one and it's actually true it's water based as you guys can tell i'm putting it a little bit here as you guys can tell it's water based and it doesn't leave any white residue it's not sticky it's a really good product. I really recommend it if you guys are looking for a really good sunscreen. 10 out of 10. As you guys can tell, my skin is looking glowy. It's a little bit red right now because I just finished washing my face. And my face is actually very, very clear. Um, It's gotten very clear to so thanks to this product. And yeah, I would really recommend you guys buying this product. It's a really, really good amazing bottles if you guys like any of these products i'm gonna go link them down below for you guys to try it out and let me know if it actually worked out for you guys for your skin type because i know anybody skin type is different oh by the way i forgot to mention my skin type it's combination like in the t-zone i am kind of oily to dry but mostly more on the oily side and then like the outer side of my t-zone i am very dry if you guys enjoy this video please give the video a big thumbs up so I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you. Bye.